Do you have the power? The power to grab? Well, like it or not, because after this video, you will. This video will teach you everything you need to know to make a fully functional grabbing and dropping system for Unreal Engine 5. Now to get started on the grabbing system, we will need to go to your character blueprint. I am using the first person template and character, but nothing should stop you from using anything else. We'll make it so when we hold down the E key, we will hold the object in front of us. Start by finding some blank space in the event graph, and then add a key E input event. Next from pressed, drag out a line trace by channel node. This will allow our code to know if we are looking at something we can pick up by casting an invisible line from our camera to our actor. Next, get the first person camera. And from it, drag out a get world location node. That as the input for the start pin on the line trace. Next, use a get world rotation node. Then a get forward vector node to get the forward direction of the player. Next, get a multiply node and convert the bottom value to a float. Then set it to how far away you want to pick up something from. I will put 400 for example. Finally, add the world location vector from before to the new vector from the multiply and use it for the line trace end pin. Next from return value, drag out a branch so we only do something if we hit something. Then from out hit, drag out a break node to get all of the information from the hit. Now we need to add a new component to our character to handle physics management for other actors. Just go to the add button at the top and search for a physics handle, then add it to the actor. Next, drag it out to the event graph, and from it, drag out a grab component at location node. This will actually grab our actor. Next, for the component pin, use the hit component pin from the break node. And for the grab location pin, use a get world location node from the hit component pin. Now this code will only grab the object for the instant that we press the grab button. But since we want it to hold for as long as we hold down the grab button, we will need to fix this. To start, we will want to make a new variable called something like grabbing, um, question mark. Then after we have successfully grabbed an object at the end of our code, we need to set this new variable to true. Now back at our grab button, on the released event, we want to drag out a branch. And if grabbing question mark is true, we want to drag out our physics handle. And from it, drag out a release component node. Then after it, set grabbing to false. Now I need to make a tick event to update the location of the actor we are grabbing. Start with a branch node and use the grabbing bool from before as the input. Next off of true, get the physics handle and get a set target location node connected to the true. Then for the new location pin, we can just copy and paste the code from the line trace above. Now back in the map, to make sure something is able to be picked up, you must make sure that it has simulate physics turned on and be set to a physics actor in the collision presets. So it will work with the system. Now to test it out, all you need to do is press play and go to an object with physics. It will hover in front of your face until you let go to drop it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all my future weekly videos. I'm so close to 500 subscribers and your help would make my day. If you have any questions, problems, or concerns, please leave them below or in my Discord and I will be happy to help. The video appearing now is picked by YouTube and I know you will love it, so why not watch it now? Until next time, have a good day and bye for now.